Good afternoon. <laughs> we finally have a polytunnel. The day that our polytunnel was built, um, I was at work. So uh, Grinch had to do the other <laughs> and do all the filming. He didn't do a bad job actually, he did very well. I wanted to start this video with a huge thank you uh, to Danny from the Grave Lake Garden who got in touch with me after the disaster of our greenhouse and let me know about this wonderful company called First Tunnels. Um, where he got his um, polytunnel from. I never thought that a polytunnel could survive uh, where the allotments are because of the wind and because of the uh, very exposed location. I saw a greenhouse was a better bet. The greenhouse didn't even survive 12 hours. Um, it was blown <laughs> the same night that it was finished. Then he convinced me that a polytunnel can be very strong and he got me in touch with First Tunnels uh, with a lovely man called uh, Matthew, uh, who's been absolutely marvellous, who gave us advice, who helped us, who was able to accommodate the very small size uh, that we only allowed on the um, allotments. I thought we couldn't have a professional uh, polytunnel because um, the uh, size that we allowed is so small. We only allowed a maximum of six by eight for a polytunnel. I didn't think we could actually have uh, you know, a, a proper solid polytunnel. I saw they had to be quite, quite big. Uh, but no, you can have a very small polytunnel. <laughs> and uh, they also are able to install, which was very important for Grinch and I. We would never, ever have tried again, not after what happened. <laughs> um, Matthew actually explained that they can install it. And um, when we were ready, Grinch and I, we went for it. <laughs> So this is our um, Christmas present to each other. Um, my birthday is around um, Christmas, so um, that's also a birthday present for me. Um, and it's the best present ever I could think of. Uh, we absolutely love the space and it is solid. Nothing is gonna <laughs> move it. I'm actually not scared. Today is windy and I'm not scared. Um, I'm pretty sure the polytunnel will last longer than the shed will. It's actually stronger. So in this video, uh, we were very lucky. We had three lovely gentlemen, Tim, Will and Deck, that came uh, and built our polytunnel in just over three hours. And they did a fantastic job and they allow us to <laughs> film them. <laughs> That's what the video is about. It's about um, first tunnels uh, building our polytunnel. And I hope you'll find it interesting. Um, I wanted to say that um, um, if you want to see other uh, polytunnels that are bigger than us, you've got um, Danny's got a bigger one uh, than us, and then you've got Gemma, Gemma's allotment, she's got a big one <laughs> that she's just had installed. And then there is a, a fairly new channel called The Veg Plot Thicken, where Claire and her husband build a 10 by 15 foot uh, polytunnel, and they did a great job together. Um, so yes, plenty of um, other channels to check out, um, the uh, first tunnels, uh, ton uh, polytunnels, um, and everybody who's had work and built has been thrilled. It's a game changer for us. Um, I do think having a covered space that you can work during um, the rainy months and the cold months is quite important. Um, I don't want to leave the allotment completely alone all winter. I actually enjoy going there during winter. I enjoy the quiet, I enjoy the difference in season, and the polytunnel is going to give me that space that I can stay and enjoy some time there. So I hope this video might tempt you <laughs> to go on the website of uh, First Tunnels and uh, go and check out what they've got. I certainly will recommend them. Um, we're thrilled. They've been lovely and the um, quality of that tunnel is absolutely amazing. I'm thrilled with it. Thank you to Danny, thank you to Matthew, thank you to um, Tim, Will and Deck, um, because without all of them, <laughs> we wouldn't have a polytunnel today. So I wanted to thank you again. <laughs> anyway, better let you watch the video. <laughs> Good morning. It's a Wednesday morning and we've got the first tunnel guys come to um, erect the polytunnel. Um, we decided to get them to do it because um, them being professional they'll probably get it to stay up rather than me and our greenhouse effect. Looking forward to getting that up. This is the space so let's see how it goes.
Right, as you can see, they, they've started out doing the, uh, getting the footings, I presume they're called. How long does it take to, uh, to erect, generally? Uh, a couple of hours. Okay. Okay, the uh, base has been put in now, so now is that's the <laughs> that's the digging part done. So it's looking good. So here's the, uh, the frame is done up, so that's good, it's looking good. See that? Can you see that? They've actually had cut the wood so that it fits right underneath the the metal bar. That is exact as you can get. And here's the uh, well, the plastic going over the top. Yay! <laughs> the wind comes up just as, <laughs> as they're covering the, <laughs> the frame. Fantastic, just at the wrong moment. This is the type of wind we get quite often. <laughs>
that's good because you looked there you got a roller there a roller door and then you've got a lock there to prevent it from opening finished. Doesn't that look good? I'll try and get a bigger shot there. That's really good. All looking good. Um, we're going to bury I think the, uh, the plastic around the sides and the front but that's looking good. They've given us some tape to, uh, to any if any holes appear in it, and there's some brackets for putting the wood on the staging. But yeah, looks good. Doors open nicely, and the. Uh, very tight. <laughs> Looks like they, they have quite a trouble getting it that tight, but that's obviously how they, they know how to do it. But yeah. Okay, so we have a polytunnel. Yay! <laughs> and that's not going anywhere. Oh my god, <laughs> it looks fantastic. <laughs> wow, that looks so nice. Oh my god, it's so nice. And then it goes down to the little <laughs> hole there. Oh, I see. So to keep it open. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a brilliant space. Oh. Oh, I love it. Oh my God, it's amazing the difference with the wind, doesn't it? Oh, we could never build that on our own. <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, it looks amazing. That's unbelievable. I love the fact you can see so much of the outside. You can actually see outside, couldn't you? These are the trellis. Brilliant. Stable. The staging. Oh, that's brilliant. It's real. What a space. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. I am so pleased with it. This is so much better than I thought. That's just fantastic. Oh, I can see, yes, they put tapes on all the corners. It makes yes, sense. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. All over the metal. It makes sense. Everything that's against the plastic. It's very cute. I like the way the, way the fact it's small. It looks cute. That's yeah, cute. Oh look, the farmer's working. I love it. I absolutely love it. What a lovely space. Brilliant. So our job now is to put the plastic in. I'm absolutely thrilled. Oh. <laughs> I'm thrilled. <laughs> We've got a tiny total. <laughs> so we can, um, <laughs> we can probably cut this so that we don't probably need it to be. No, I suppose it doesn't have to be as long. What did um, they say? They said you can either completely cut it off or, oh. you, or you can bury it. Let's bury it as it is, isn't it? Well, we, we can roll it up. Yeah. Put it in. Put it in. It's so cute. It is really cute. <laughs> I love it. It's higher than the greenhouse, isn't it? Yeah. And you love this one even more because you didn't have to build it. <laughs> Was it a lot easier watching someone else doing it? 
Well, they arrived at about, what was it, that they started just, um, must have been about quarter past nine, something like that. God, they came early. Quarter past half past nine, and they finished about quarter past half past twelve. Wow. So, quarter past nine till half past twelve? It's about, it's about three hours. So, three hours. It's a long time. God, three if hours, it took yeah. them three hours to build this, it would have taken us three days. <laughs> Six. And it wouldn't be like this. <laughs> well, it no way, it would have taken us three hours to do this. That's three hours, three people. No, it looks great. I love it. Right, we need to get oh, on with it. Oh, it looks wonderful. <laughs> we need to get on with it because we haven't got Hello. much time. We need to tuck all the plastic away. We were going to dig it in, but um, Grinch decided that actually we could put it under the membrane because all around we're going to put membrane and wood sheep. So if we stick it under the membrane and then we have the weight of the wood chip, it shouldn't move. It will be held by the weight of everything. So um, this is what we're gonna do. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna put membrane inside the polytunnel because uh, for now, I don't want weeds to start working. It's also gonna stop it being muddy. And if we grow something inside the polytunnel, it will be in a, in a bed anyway. And, but for now, I want the staging to be able to put some seeds in. And on the other side, if I put a, my metal bed, uh, we can cut the membrane around it like we do on the, um, on the allotment. So that's what we're going to do. This is such a good polytunnel. I love it. Actually, it was the right place for it. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to be inside, okay? Okay. So brilliant. I'm inside the polytunnel, it's raining, and I'm watching Grinch getting wet. <laughs> I like this polytunnel, it's brilliant. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> All those brackets is what's protecting them from the wind, isn't it? Yeah. Look how clever this is. So, this joint there, they have this extra bracket to hold it together, to stop the wind ripping things apart. This is what it holds so well. You know, same with the frame. It's held by these really strong um, brackets, I suppose. And then you've got this bar across, which is brilliant, because it also means I can have things hanging from there. So that's really good that, you know, I can have a hanging basket. They've just sort of everything the wooden frame makes it stronger as well and I mean this is so strong each joint is so strong they've really sort of everything to make it last it's absolutely brilliant and then you've got this bow cross which is held that way going all the way down which again stops things being ripped apart you know they've got all those really strong metal and then you can have those bars going across to put your staging which will make it a lot easier now they are quite large because most polytunnels have got double doors but we're not allowed um, we're not allowed a bigger polytunnel on this allotment so we don't have a choice it's got to be that size I'm still happy to have the staging it makes sense it doesn't bother me it's not like they're in the way as such it's not too bad for us um, and it'll be good to have it definitely be good to have it I'm happy with it having the staging to put all the seedlings is a good idea so where it's hard is every time we try to put those little pegs to attach the membrane we hit stones loads of them so it does make it complicated but we are trying our best um, but it's gonna take longer than we thought <laughs> it always does here <laughs> keeping it not as muddy is a good thing so for now membrane will do winter's coming we've got a lot of water and I'm happy to have membrane on the floor and then as I need to plant I can remove it it's easy to remove it's not difficult but it's keeping all the weeds at bay which is um, what I've been trying to do and killing them off and it's working because when we remove this membrane we've we haven't got weeds and we didn't even put the wood chip on top 
So it's definitely working. I know a lot of people are against the membrane. But if we ever give back the allotment, we would remove the membrane. We wouldn't give the allotment, you know, full of membrane to someone else. So um, for us, it's working and that's how we working it. Uh, we wouldn't do layers and layers of membrane as the years go by. Um, personally, as the wood sheep disintegrate, I will put it back in the bed. And then if underneath the membrane is changing, I remove the old membrane, put some new ones, and then put some fresh wood chip. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, we're not going to just keep topping up. Um, we'll actually make sure we look after it.